Hello there, and today we're gonna to be revealing the lies we were told about battery duration. My name is Steve, this is TQA Weekly, and let's start off with manufacturers. Manufacturers will give you an estimated time that the battery should last while you're doing very specific tasks, and that's important because they're expecting you to do that very specific task and nothing else. But if we're talking about laptops, and we're talking about tablets, and we're talking about mobile devices with lithium ion batteries, even brand new out of the box, you're not using it in the same way they are. So your device is multitasking in background, you're multitasking in the foreground, so there's no way that a 12 hour estimation comes out to 12 hours because you're not using the device in the same way they tested it. That's lie number one, already thrown out the window. There's no way for it to, to actually last in exactly the same way unless you disabled all notifications, all tracking, and all other telemetry in the device on top of not doing anything else than watching that movie with your device on airplane mode. There's simply no way. So obviously the way they calculate how long each task is supposed to last on the battery is wildly inaccurate because it doesn't reflect the end user. One of the other problems that comes to even estimating the battery device, uh, battery duration on device, is that every time you measure that, you're changing the result. So this is something more to do with physics and chemistry, but every time you measure something, you're changing it. And the more often they test the battery, the more they drain the battery. And that means the more accuracy they're looking for, the less accurate it's gonna be. I know it's confusing, but every time they query the battery for information, it's using power, and that means that the battery has less power after that. It might seem like a tiny little amount each time, but add it up all together, and the battery will simply drain by itself while you're not doing anything with it. So there is that very specific problem. Then the next thing is just the battery chemistry by itself. When you get the brand new battery and it does a given task for 100 minutes without a problem at the very beginning, if that battery loses 1% of its capacity every three months over a period of, tw uh, of three years, it will have lost 12% of its capacity, suddenly going from 100 minutes to 88 minutes of its usable life, meaning that you will actually have a battery that is failing with time. And the more the battery fails with time, the less efficient it's going to be. 88% does not necessarily translate to 88 minutes. It might actually be significantly less. The solution would be to change the battery, but most devices don't have a user accessible battery to change which might be changing in the future, but it's still hard to do, and therefore it is still a problem. Another thing that has nothing to do with measuring the battery, but just measuring things in general, is all of the telemetry a phone, a laptop, or even a tablet will collect. It's always collecting information. Unless you turn everything off, it will be calculating tilt, it will be calculating its actual position in space, it will calculate every single bun, every single swing, everything. This is why it's able to tell you how many steps you went in a place, how high, how low, how many like calories you burnt and everything. Think about that. It's constantly collecting this telemetry and always querying everything around it. Therefore, it's basically draining its own battery collecting all of this information. Why does it collect this information? In some cases, it's for her own personal health, but in other cases, it's actually for the manufacturer. And therefore, the battery might be draining for uses that are outside of your control and outside of your expectation and even outside of information that you even wanted. So you have the fact that it's not tested correctly, the fact that they're constantly testing, the fact that the chemistry of the battery is going to be an issue, and now you have telemetry constantly being taken that is potentially an issue. And that's on top of all of these smart AIs that we have built into our devices that might be constantly listening, and that means they're also constantly draining power. But let's go a step further. 
even when our devices are powered off, especially with iPhones, I'm pretty sure it exists with Androids, or at least some of them, they might be giving your position away even when they're off. If a device has a battery, and even in off, it's giving off information such as location, as practical as it might be in some cases, it will continue to discharge the battery. So the estimated time that that battery can last is going to be significantly less than what the manufacturer originally said because of everything we just talked about. Because in the end, it's not being tested in the same way that the device is running in real life. And this is why a 12 hour estimation can be wildly off because they are simply not using the device in their tests in the same way as you. So like this episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those that you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqwayweekly.com or go to my website tqwayweekly.com where you can see show notes on this episode, past others, find other ways of subscribing, and of course use the contact form to email me directly. And if you want to see me play video games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Go watch me on twitch.tv slash zaxis1981, where I play every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.